Hey, what's up everyone? So in the last episode, we were able to style our products using CSS. And in this episode, I want us to add functionality to our button here and be able to add a product to cut. So I think this is one of the episodes that most of you have been waiting for and now it's finally here. So let's just uh, dive right in. I'll open my Visual Studio code right here. And what we will do, we'll add a new file in our features folder right here called cut slice. So I'll say cut slice dot js. And we can import create slice from Redux toolkit. So right here I'll say import id structure create slice. And this will come from Redux toolkit. Now we can create our cut slice right here. I can say const cut slice will be equal to create slice. I invoke this person object. The first property will give our slice a name and we will simply call it cut. And then the second property will be initial state. So let's create an object here. For our initial state, I'll say const initial state will be equal to an object. Right here, we'll have cut items and initially this will be an empty array. And then we will have cut total quantity and initially this will be zero. So this will be giving us the total number of products that we have in our cut. And then right here, we'll have cut uh, total amount. And we'll set this to zero to begin with. And this will uh, simply give us the subtotal, like uh, the total price of our products, okay? Now, the second property here is initial state. And then the third property is reducers. So I'll add reducers and I'll pass an object in here. Now, when we were working on our product slice, you saw that we had reducers and also we had extra reducers. And I told you we use extra reducers when we have action creator out here and we want to handle the state for that particular action creator in our reducers. So we do that in extra reducers. But we use reducers right here to generate an action creator plus handle the state for that particular action creator in our cut slice. So when we use reducers here, we don't have any action creator defined yet. We will like uh, be able to generate an action creator right here and handle the state for that particular action creator. So right here we can uh, create a function. I can say add to cut and I'll call this as a function. It will have access to the state and also it will have access to action and then right here i can include curly brackets and in here we'll be able to update the state for this add to cut which will be automatically be made our action creator so we are generating an action creator and handling the state at the same time and that is the power of Redux toolkit because I told you earlier that we won't be having separate files for actions and for reducers. So right here we'll be able to like uh, add an item to our cut items like this. We will be able to say state dot cut items and then we can call an array method dot push and we can pass in our product like this and therefore we'll be simply adding a product to cut like this which is uh, actually really easy but now our product will be coming from action dot payload so right here instead of passing the product i'll say action dot payload now this is our product which will be coming from our action creator so now you might be asking yourself how can we export this add to cut as an action creator so at the bottom here we can say export const and we will destructure add to cut 
from cut slice dot actions so now this will be our action creator and we'll be able to receive our product in our payload and access the product like this and push it to our cart items so this is a simple implementation of adding a product to cart but this will have some issues but we will solve them later on so i want you to like get the general idea and then uh, we'll progress further from there now let's uh, export uh, our cart slice reducer and how we can do that is to say export default cut slice dot reducer and we can add our reducer to our redux store in our index.js so right here we should add cut property and we will add cut a slice like that but i want to rename this to reducer because from our cut slice the default export is our reducer so i'll add reducer there and right here i'll change this to reducer so basically we are adding our cut slice reducer to our redux store so that we can be able to access that particular piece of state now we have our cut slice right here which is very basic and the cool thing is that this add to cut will be automatically uh, be made our action creator and we can be able to dispatch it from our components so let's go to the home component and we want to dispatch that particular action creator and pass our product to our action dot payload so right here at the button we'll simply add an on click event and i'll call a helper method so i'll do it like this i'll create an r function and i will return handle uh, add to cart i invoke this and i'll pass our product in here so this product is the one that we are receiving from our map method and we can pass it like this so we don't have handle add to cart so we can create it at the top here just before our return statement we can say const handle add to cart i make it to be an arrow function right here we'll be able to receive our product and we can do something in here and basically we'll do a dispatch of our action creator which is right here add to cart okay so how we can dispatch that particular action creator we can make use of a hook from react redux library called use dispatch so at the top here i can import use dispatch and this will come from react redux library and we need to initialize this use dispatch right here so i can say const dispatch will be equal to use dispatch and i invoke it like that and now i can use this dispatch to dispatch our action creator in here so in here i'll say dispatch i will invoke this and in here i'll pass in our action creator which is add to cut and it will be auto imported right there from our cut slice and we should call this add to cut and pass in our product that makes sense right so we are simply dispatching our add to cut we are passing in the product that product will be added to our action dot payload and therefore this will be basically uh, be our product so this is the simplest implementation for adding a product to cut although it's not complete but we can test it out as i explain to you which issues uh, we have so i'll go to our app i'll inspect the element here and then uh, i'll come right here and go to redux so that we can access redux dev tools from here you can either click the icon here or you can do it like this so i think this is uh, having a much bigger view and it's much nicer so i'll come to state and from our state you can see we have cut and now in our cut we have the initial state cut items which is an empty array cut total quantity which is zero cut total amount which is zero and now let's try to see if this button is working 
I'll click add to cart and iPhone 12 is now added to our cart. So you can see we are pushing that iPhone 12 to cart items. So our simplest implementation is working. If I click iPhone 12 Pro, that is working. But now the issue that we have is that when I click iPhone 12 here again, it will be duplicated. Like the first one is iPhone 12. This one is also iPhone 12. And we don't want this behavior. What we want is if we click on iPhone 12 again, we have a property that will increment its quantity. So we can have cut quantity. And when we, we click on iPhone 12 again, we increment that quantity by one so that we have two cut quantity for iPhone 12. So we need to come back here to our cut size. And what we will do, we will uh, create a constant and I'll call this one temp product. And then I'll set this to be equal to action dot payload and i'll spread the property for action dot payload and this is the product that we are receiving from our action creator when we click add to cut but what i want to do is to add a new property to this called cut quantity and initially i'll set this one to be one okay so the idea is to have a cut quantity which we can use to increment its uh, count here by one whenever we already have a product in the cart. So right here, instead of passing action dot period, we will pass temp product just like that. But still, this is not yet solving our issue. We need to figure out a way of knowing that we have a product in the cut and therefore we increase the quantity else if we don't have the product in the cut then that is when we will run this code okay so what we will do is that right here i will use an array method called find index on our cut items and then we'll perform a check to check whether a product that we are trying to add to cut uh, already exists in our cut items so right here we will say state dot cut items and then I'll call dot find index. I invoke this. We'll get an item at a time and then we can be able to return something. So right here I'll say is item dot id equal to action dot period dot id i'll save that to auto format now what is happening here is that we are using find index which is an array method to check whether we already have the item that we are trying to add to cut in our cut items so we will look through the cut items and compare item dot id with action dot period dot id if this is true then that means that we have an item in our cut and whatever will be returned now is the position of that item so right here we can store that position in a constant i can say const item index will be equal to our code here so i'll save that so that the auto format and now this is what we have so if we already have the item in our cart this item index will be zero or a number greater than zero else it will be negative one okay so if the item does not exist right here then item index will be negative one so we can be able to use this item index to uh, determine whether to push the product to cut or to increment the cut quantity. So right here, I'll say if item index is greater or equal to zero, that means we already have that item in our cut items. 
what we will do we will increment the cut quantity by one so we will access that item and we'll access it like this we will say state dot cut items and then i use square brackets i enter the index of that item so we'll get that particular item i access the cut quantity property and i increment it by one so i'll say plus is equals one so this will add one to our cut quantity so this is for the case when we already have an item in our cart. Else, we will do this. We will simply push the item to our cart items and also add this property to our product. So I will save that file. And believe me not, this is all we need to actually add a product to cart in the right way. So. I'll test this one out. I'll come back to the browser. I will refresh so that we begin at this a flash. And in our state, we have the cut and currently cut items is empty. So iPhone 12 add to cut. It's added to cut, but also when we check at it, it have now this cut quantity which is one. So. Now we already have iPhone 12 in our cart. Now let's try to add it again. I add to cart and look, this cart quantity is being incremented by one and we are not duplicating our iPhone 12. If I add it again, amazing. If we come to Galaxy S, now this is a new product. It does not exist in our cart. Therefore, it should be added as a new cart item. So. I'll click add to cart and awesome now this is a new item galaxy s the count is one i add count is two and this is all we did we used find index to determine whether we already have that uh, particular item in the cart and if this is greater or equal to zero that means that we have the item in the cart and therefore what we need to do is to increment cut quantity for that particular item else we don't have the item in the cut and we add it as a new item so that is it for this video we have successfully added our product to cut items and in the next video uh, we will take a look at how we can add some cool pop-ups for our actions and we'll be using react testify for that so that when we click add to cut we can get a nice pop-up telling us that we have added a product to cut. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please support my channel by hitting that subscribe button and sharing with your friends. And I'll see you in the next one.